Nancy Morehon. One of the foremost writers of Cuba has published more than 12 collections of poetry shaped by an Afro-Cuban sensibility and a feminist consciousness, translated into several different languages. She has been elected as the president of the Cuban Writers and Artists Union and is an advisor to the Casa de las Américas in Havana. Please welcome Nancy Morihon. The very first one, uh the poem uh, that I think reflects in my way, the Cuba and, and the country the Cuban five defend in their transparent faith. Un patio de la Habana. Un patio de la Habana, como pedía Machado, es caro a la memoria, sin altos muros, sin esa luz intrépida del arco iris, sin la flor andaluza que tanto abuela reclamaban los búcaros. Un patio de La Habana conserva huesos de los muertos porque ellos son anchos tesoros, viejas semillas de labrador. Un patio hay de donde sale tanta estrella. A patio in Havana. A patio in Havana the kind Machado invoked is something memory holds dear. With no high walls, nor the intrepid splendor of a rainbow, nor the Andalusian flower grandmother so stubbornly raised in flower pots. A patio in Havana preserves the bones of the dead because they are vast treasures, a farmer's age-old seeds. A patio, I, from which arise so many stars. Y arderán las banderas, y arderán las banderas como simples cernícalos. Seremos el peso del universo, los mortales factores, y los materialistas de la creación. Haremos la vida. Esta es la existencia y el sudor de quien erige el mundo día tras día. Alguna vez haremos la vida. And the flags will burn. And the flags will burn like merest kestrels. We will become the weight of the universe, the mortal factors, the materialists of creation. We will make a life. This is how it is, and this is how we sweat while we're building the world day by day. One of these days, we'll make ourselves alive. <laughs> for our Cuban Five, for the Cuban Five, a poem that I wrote especially for Antonio Guerrero, who is a very important poet, with other one, uh, Labanino, who writes poetry too. But in general, uh, uh, this poem is dedicated to the five. Volverás, Pan Antonio Guerrero. Desde el sur, de cara al sol, tocamos a tu puerta clausurada para entregarte nuestra palabra en su ensueño feroz pero con su ojo despierto que dice la verdad, la huella del espanto, así como la fuerza del amor. Tus poemas han sabido atravesar los muros que ahora te devuelven los poemas nuestros, amasados desde un pilón de arena y piedra en cuyo paisaje se han plantado triunfales tu voz y tu esperanza, pues con ellas hemos podido convivir y con ellas también hemos cantado a la orilla de esta ensenada de frente a la montaña. Tú no estás solo porque eres tú nuestra palabra, porque eres tú nuestra esperanza. Ya no estarás solo jamás, pues tu dolor se nos vuelve rocío, porque tu soledad, cima o abismo, no carece de sueños. Soñaremos contigo, te traeremos a estas montañas y a este mar 
porque regresarás como un rey confidente, porque ya estás volviendo y queremos creer que es este tu retorno. Aquí hay aves, estrellas, lluvias, ríos, árboles que dan frutos y dan sombra. Esta es tu casa, porque tu casa visible es la palabra. Piensa, guardián de los escudos, que pronto habrá un amanecer en donde entonaremos juntos el himno inacabable del amor. Translation. You will be back. From the south, facing the sun, we knocked at your locked door to give you our word in its first dream, but with its open eye telling the truth, the mark of terror as well as the power of love. Your poems have managed to break through the walls that now give you back our poems, mixed from a pylon of sand and gravel in whose landscape your voice and your hope have been triumphantly planted. For with them, for with them we have been able to live together, and with them we have also sung at the edge of this cove facing the mountain. You are not alone because you are our word, because you are our hope. Nevermore will you be alone, for your pain becomes our due. Because your solitude, at its highest or lowest, lacks no dreams. We shall dream with you. We shall bring you to these mountains and to this sea because you will return like a faithful king. For you are already coming back, and we want to believe that this is your homecoming. Here there are birds, stars, rains, rivers, trees that give fruits and give shade. This is your house, for your visible house is the word. Keep in mind, guardian of the shields, that there will soon be daybreak when we shall sing together the never-ending hymn of love. Thank you very much. <laughs>